Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Matters of the Heart and Soul podcast. My name is Janie Charlo and this is Russell Bruce. Peace, everybody. So we are in season four um, and we hope that you guys enjoy the last podcast we did on the war on consciousness. On this episode, we want to talk about the law of cause and effect, the universal law of cause and effect. Um, This law is all about knowing that for every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. Um, this law is always in effect. It's universal. So it's, it's happening everywhere in the cosmos. Um, so we want to talk about how to master this law because truly guys, when you can master this law, you really, you really begin to dictate your reality and create your reality. And so cause and effect is all about for every cause there is an effect, good or bad. And also in the energy or vibration that you make that cause, that same energy and vibration is going to come back to you. So if we have to give an example of cause and effect, what's an example, a good and a bad of that as well? Okay, so cause and effect, once again, a universal law. And universal laws are those things that are found in nature, like gravity. and so. Like, for example, like, say we pick a number, right? Say number 17. And the predictability of the next number is going to be what? 18. And the number prior to 17 would be what? 16. So it's almost equivalent to like past, present, future. So it's really like a a fourth dimension added to this, say, time-space reality, right? So one of one of the uh you said a good and a bad, right? Mm-hmm. So like say for example, a good cause, right? So I would say happiness, like being happy and upbeat and loving, right? If if I'm happy, upbeat and loving, I'm gonna feel it myself. I'm gonna be able to have an effect on other people around me by being that way, even if they're down and out it's going to have more of a positive impact on them. Mm-hmm. And, and just the opposite, if I'm, say, in a bad mood and I'm being argumentative or whatever, I may hurt someone's feelings or it can even escalate in some cases, even into violence is the effect of the cause of the arguing or the negative energy. Yeah. And so just something that I thought of off the top of my head If you eat too much food and don't exercise, you will gain weight. So the effect is gaining weight. The cause is that I ate too much and I didn't exercise. So you see how that works both ways. Um, So poor health, you know, if you are overeating, you're eating at restaurants all the time, you can develop, you know, heart disease, cholesterol issues, diabetes. Those are the effects of eat overeating, eating bad food, not exercising, not taking care of your health, health, not eating healthy. So that's cause and effect. Good stuff. So we want to, of course, we want to talk about how do we master cause and effect? Um, if, first of all, we have to know that everything, the cause is all about our thoughts, our actions, all right, and our beliefs, all right? So, First of all, we want to become conscious of our thoughts and actions, all right? So for example, if Russell and I were having a conversation and I say something that is offensive to him, and then in return, he says something offensive to me. So the cause was I first said something offensive to him. The effect is he says something offensive to me. And the important thing about cause and effect is that it goes on infinitely, 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 whether good or bad, but you need an equal and opposite reaction to stop it. So as you can see, this is how relationships can turn sour and bad really fast unless someone comes with a a different equal and opposite energy to change it. So we're in this pattern of insulting each other, 
because one person says something, and you know this happens in relationships a lot. Somebody says something, it pisses them off, and they say something back. So and it becomes a cycle. I have to stop and come with an equal and opposite energy of love or forgiveness or acceptance and move on. That's the only way we're going to come out of that cause and effect, right? So become conscious of your thoughts and actions. Yeah, because it has a ripple effect, just like, you know, we always see the example and many of us experience it ourselves, going to the lake, tossing a rock out into the lake. And you have this ripple effect where yeah. you see the wave pattern just going away, right? And it almost seems like it goes off into infinity, you know, but in some cases it, it'll go off and it'll dissipate at a certain point. But, you know, it, it's almost like the reaping and sowing effect or say karma, you know, it's like things that we do, you know, both positive and negative, like yeah. the positive things that we do tend to, you know, reap rewards for us down the line, you know, in a more positive fashion and negative things that we do, you know, will, you know, tend to reap negative fruit. Mm -hmm. I want to say, so if you're, if you're becoming really cautious, conscious of your thoughts and actions, be very self-aware of your intentions, because that's really what the cause is all about. And which brings me to my next point, be the cause and not the effect. Like, so be intentional, be the cause, right? Um, if I want to have a positive impact on others, right? The po impact positively is the effect. I need to come with positive energy. I need to, um, to give other people positive energy. I need to instill that in others in order for positive impact to be the effect that I'm looking for. So you want to be the cause. Yeah, perfect example. You know, the, the Einstein quote says that you can't solve a problem with the same mindset that created it. Right. You know, and also there's another one, you can't heal in the same environment that hurts you, right? So, you know, you, you have this scenario, like it's Black History Month and, you know, everybody knows about Martin Luther King and his nonviolent approach to, you know, what was happening in the 60s. So instead of meeting violence with violence, he met violence with a peaceful nonviolent protest you know, the same thing with Gandhi against the British government. You know, they use peace in order to defuse it. Now, if they would have met it with more violence, who's to say how it would turn out? You know, we see some of these countries who, who warred for hundreds of years. We see what happens in certain cities across America with gang violence. When when you meet fire with fire, what happens? So sometimes you have to meet it with water, something that's opposite and equal. Yeah. And when you want to be the cause, this 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 allows you to know that you have a choice. I think a lot of people don't even know that they have a choice in their everyday occurrences. Um, be the cause. You have a choice. Like you have a choice to listen to to good music or bad music. You have a choice to engage in negative talk or positive talk. You have a choice to you know talk about others or you know encourage others. You have a choice every single day, and every decision you make, whether you are conscious of it or not you are actually participating in the law of cause and effect. And I wanted to say that as well about most people are very unconscious. They're unaware of what they're saying, therefore what they're causing and what the effect will be. So, I mean, and it takes a lot of practice, a lot of self-awareness. I mean, every thought you know, and every word before you speak, you really have to think about what you're about to say and how would this affect the other person, the environment, and even what I want to see happen in my life. Because just like that, um, you know, sometimes you could say something and the effect could be deadly. It could be violence. You know, it could be something that in the moment is going to come back to you just like that. Yeah. The, the, once again, the, the thoughts, words, actions all have this ripple effect, you know, and even situations in nonverbal, 
right? So once again, going back to your emotions, you could be emoting something like your energy without even saying a word can change the vibration within a room, you know, and it creates this ripple effect. So like, for example, in a room, like if you're standing in a room, you look around, you see four walls and a lot of us, you know, see this empty space, the same thing in outer space. People just think it's just empty space, but we live in this plasma reality. Like we can text each other a picture. You don't see the picture leaving the phone floating through the air or whatever, but it is going through this electromagnetic field of ones and zeros and, and it's attaching to things. We're no different than this cell phone sending signals out into this plasma reality. We're no different. Yeah. And I just want to say that you can, I mean, every thought you are thinking and every word you're saying and every action you're taking, you are participating, but you can intercept, right? So if you, if you said something and you're like, man, I shouldn't have said that. You can, you can, at that moment, you could apologize. You could even say, you know, to yourself, hey, don't let that participate in the law. You know, I take that statement back. You can, at that moment, intercept. So it, again, it takes a lot of self-awareness. So we all could probably sit here and think of something we've thought about, something we've said, or even an action that we took that we were like, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I say that? And sometimes, you know, you 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 catch yourself in it and you're kind of halfway in and halfway out, but you can intercept and you can withdraw that statement or that thought or that action right then and there. And, you know, I think it's best to do that than allow the unfolding, the ripple effect that could be terrible. You know, it's best to kind of catch it and, and, you know, resolve it right then and there. And you can do that. You you have the power to do that. Yeah, and it's all about healing. You know, I, I had a post today in social media where, you know, I was just saying some of the things that have the biggest impact, especially in a positive manner, are, are words like, I'm sorry, you know, I love you, I forgive you, you know, forgive yourself as well. You know, uh, holding the door open for someone, giving someone a compliment. These things send that ripple effect out there and have a positive impact, not only on yourself, you feel a lot better, you know, within yourself that you're doing things that are more positive, good deeds, you know, a simple smile, a simple hello, those things, they're free, it don't cost you anything, they're just their choices, you yeah. know, and that's why happiness is a choice and being the difference you want to see in the world is as simple as doing simple things. Yeah. So the next thing I want to bring up is think for yourself. This is how you master this law. Think for yourself. Do not become a part of these, you know, uh, get trapped in the group think thing. Think for yourself. That is one of the most important things that you could do to master the law of cause and effect. All right. Um, if you kind you have people out here that are manipulating <clears throat> manipulating us all the time, you know, in the media, in music, and a lot of things. So you have to really be able to think for yourself and be okay with going in the complete opposite direction than the masses. Yeah, because there, there are things out there that some causes that people buy into, whether they're beliefs, <clears throat> groups, things of that nature, that have a negative effect already designed it's in the design of the cause so it's like yeah. like for example somebody embarking in a life of crime you know it's just a matter of time that karma catches up so these are the things that we're talking about is to be independent in your thinking away from the herd so that you can understand and and then if you see that is positive and it's bearing fruit and you know the cause and effect are all in line with your purpose, then so be it. But definitely be cautious. Yeah. And, you know, <clears throat> take your time. Uh, if, if you have to make a decision and you feel like a group of people is pressuring you or someone is pressuring you and you're not exact, you need some time to think, say that. I need to think about this. It's okay. Like, because you have to kind of go within and decide what is right for you. 
And sometimes what's right for you won't be right for the next person and definitely not the masses. Nine times out of 10, you know, when you see a herd of people doing one thing, it's because there is this, uh, there's this group mentality or I think it's called the pendulum, pendulum effect. Yeah, pend pendulum effect. Yeah. Well, I think I'm probably thinking of another word, but it's um, it's a, more of a herd mentality. Yeah, where it's a, it's definitely group thinking. You just you just don't want to be a part of that. You know, you just want to be able to think on your own. Sometimes you need to dance to the beat of your own drum. Yeah. So, um, did you have anything else as far as mastering the law of cause and effect? I, I just say is once again spend your day trying to you know be in the most positive mindset possible like you shouldn't even want your feet to hit the ground until your mind is is static about your day and you're you're excited about your day you like you know meditate pray uh listen to motivational like speakers things of that nature to get you charged up because what exists in your mental spiritual mind will manifest in the physical reality. So when we talk about cause and effect, whether it's your diet or arguing or whatever, it all starts with a thought, you know, and, and it starts in the mind. You can't see it, but it's going to materialize in the physical world because it, it's seeds. Mm -hmm. These seeds are being planted in the mental spiritual realm and they're going to manifest in the physical. Yeah. It's just a time delay, but it will it will happen. Yeah. And it, I find it interesting how everything is really connected. And you've probably heard that before, that there are no coincidences in the cosmos. Everything is connected. And how cause and effect is really one of the, the largest laws that we're participating in each day. And I wanted to give an example of that. So, for example, um, let's say that I got into an argument with a coworker, right? That that coworker then tells her husband about the argument. Okay, so the argument was the cause, the effect she tells her husband. Her husband comes to the place of work and now he wants to argue with me, right? I now have to tell Russell, hey, this man is over here trying to argue with me. Guess what? Russell has to now come. And this thing, it grows and grows and grows and get bigger and bigger. And again, if, if we don't snap out of that energy with an equal and opposite force, we're going to keep on with the same cause and effect until we we snap out of it and so i would just i want people to understand how this stuff how we how we hear deadly things happen people snapping getting killed shooting other people just like that cause and effect just like that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction yep all right so that's all we had really short sweet straight to the point um, we want to make sure you guys are sharing, subscribing to the podcast, Matters of the Heart and Soul. You could follow Russell and I on Instagram. I am at nurse practitioner underscore hired. And Russell is at Chef Seven. Chef, Chef Russ Russ Seven. seven. <laughs> Forgot my name. Chef Russ Seven. Yeah. Um, guys, check out our book, Seven Step to Mastering Emotions. Um, because cause and effect has everything to do with how you're thinking, how you're emoting, or how you're feeling in your actions. So when you master your emotions, you just, you really start to master life. You really start to master your reality, you know, mastering the universal laws. You And this is walking in your God and goddess. And now you're creating every day, you're creating your reality. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. And our other book, um, Capacity to Love, all right? So that's all we have. And you guys, we will catch you guys at the next episode. Peace.